What's up guys, my name is George and welcome to Avant Garde. And today we're gonna to be talking about sunglasses. More importantly, what I think are the best sunglass brand in the world. Let's get to it. Guys, before we get into the video, please go follow our Instagram. I'll put the link in the description, go check it out. Other than that, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about the sunglasses. Now, if you know anything about sunglasses, you know that they're kind of an important accessory. To me, shades, when I see shades on a person or an individual, it kind of gives me a glimpse of their personality, like a sneak peek of maybe what that person is. The reason why is because shades are kind of something that you pick out that, that fits kind of your fashion sense. So we're avant-garde here. So that means that we like to be different, unique, and you know, kind of experiment a bit with our kind of fashion. Now, you look at most people and what they wear, it's mostly this brand, Ray-Ban. Now don't get me wrong, Ray-Ban is a great brand. It's technically an American brand. I guess the history is American now, but it is Luxottica owned, which means it's more of an Italian brand if you really look at it. It's a good brand, don't get me wrong, good product, um, but it's kind of a mainstream brand and everyone has it. I mean, if you look at most people, they were either wearing Clubmasters or Aviators. So you walk into a room, everyone is wearing basically the same thing. It's like when you walk into a meeting and everyone's wearing an Apple Watch. It's kind of like, eh, you guys aren't really giving off a sense of fashion or personality with what you're wearing. Now these Ray-Bans actually are pretty unique. They're like this blue and red combo. They're pretty cool. So these I would say are more on the unique side in terms of Ray-Ban, but they're not something that you would you know, never see. They're pretty ordinary in that sense. They're not rare, they're not limited edition. They're pretty basic. Now, what I, in my opinion, I think is a really cool, cool brand for sunglasses, and I think is different and avant-garde unique, is a brand called Mykita. Now, Mykita is a German brand, very German, handmade in Berlin, low production. You know, a lot of their pieces are not mass produced. You won't see them, you know, in too many boutiques or places. Most of them are exotic materials, stainless steel that's, you know, very light, or maybe titanium, or even some of them have some crazy ceramics. They've really been experimenting with all kinds of materials maybe even carbon as well. And these are glasses or shades, I should say, that are very unique looking. You know, a lot of their pieces, people are kind of say, whoa, that's different or that's a little daring, you know, whatever we want to say, whatever terminology you want to use. Um, but they're definitely on the more, I would say, avant-garde kind of way or style. They're different in the sense that you're going to stand out and you're going to show a little bit of your personality with those shades on. Okay guys, so I actually have a pair here of my Kitas myself, so I'm going to open this up and let you guys see these glasses. So these glasses, uh, what makes them kind of different is the design. They're kind of a catfish look, but they're more on the masculine side with the middle bridge and kind of rounded edges. So it gives it kind of a more unique look than the typical catfish. And then you throw in the material and the finish. They have this gold kind of plate around the, the lenses, which is really cool. Matte black frame. And also, they're extremely light, guys. Like, when you put these things on, it's ridiculously light. I mean, we're talking like half the weight of, you know, another pair of glasses, like these Ray-Bans, for example. It's really lightweight, they're made out of titanium. And these are pieces that, or this, I should say these shades are pieces that you will not see too often. Uh, like I said, it's a very German, European brand. Some people in America do have them, they do like it. Um, but it's very, very different. Every time I'm wearing these shades, no one knows what they are. I mean, most, some people are like, oh, they're Ray-Bans, just out of habit. Definitely not Ray-Bans, guys, way more unique. Now, the trade-off of having such a unique pair of shades and, you know, handmade, uh, they also have the patented uh, hingeless design, which is unique only to Mykita, is that they are expensive at retail. These, I believe, retail I believe, were around 600, 700, very, very expensive. These are shades you wanna wait a little bit until they hit the market and then you buy them at discount. I wouldn't personally pay retail for them. That's the first con, I would say but they are quality guys. Ray-Ban technically is, just, it follows a standard kind of production line by Luxottica. Everything is at a certain standard. So quality is pretty universal until you get to brands like Persol that they also own where they, you know, they put a little more production uh, money into it. But you know, these are all handmade. One person, you know, sitting there and working on your shades. The lenses are quality, quality, quality. Some of the best lenses on the market by far. And again, guys, they're unique. They're avant-garde. It fits our brand. It fits our lifestyle. And in my opinion, these are the kind of shades you want to have at least once in your life. Or if you're going to have, you know, multiple shades, maybe trade some of those in and get one pair of these because trust me, it's going to be worth it. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll see you guys on the next video.